story of My Fair Lady is about a young woman named Eliza Doolittle who meets a professor of speech, Henry Higgins, and he makes a bet with his friend that he can transform her from being a young lady who's very poor, lives in the gutter, and who talks with this thick Cockney accent and make people think that she is a duchess. It's a story of someone from a rough, lower class world discovering a chance to become a part of a, a world of beauty and grace and elegance. Ah, uh, but it's more than that. It's really the story of a lady from the street who teaches a very rude, out of control gentleman how to live life. Dum, 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 dum. I've grown accustomed to her face. The interesting thing about the history of My Fair Lady is that although it's based on a classic British play by George Bernard Shaw, it was written by Americans, Alan J. Lerner and Frederick Lowe. It started in New York City on Broadway. It starred the very young, unknown Julie Andrews. And of course, eventually, it became a Hollywood musical starring Audrey Hepburn. One thing that I love about this show is that you go, you laugh, you have a wonderful time, but then there's these moments of realism and drama that then allows the audience to ask their own questions of, do I know who I am? Do I judge people based on where they live or how they dress? So I would say you can expect to have a great time and also go away learning some great lessons. I think for My Fair Lady, what audiences can expect is to be uplifted and thoroughly entertained. Put up dogs.